Hey everybody, I wanted to make a video today. Actually, I don't want to make this video because um, it exposes a lot of my like weak areas in my life. But I want to sh share something with you because I found this to be true in my life uh, and I know it's true for a lot of other people. And a lot of people call this, um, what I'm gonna talk about today, either uh, the law of attraction or positive confessions of professions. Or if you're a Christian, they call it, um, you know, I can do all things through Christ, something like that. But the idea is, and I'm sure you've heard this before, but it's very true, not only in guitar, but everything in life, but particularly in guitar. And um, I'm I'm not a life coach, I'm not a guru. This is just something that I've found to be very true in my life, especially lately, um, as I've been facing the, like, the employment challenges that I've been facing, uh, kind of restarting everything. And um, the principle is this, and I, like I said, you've heard it, um, whether you believe you can do something or whether you believe you can't, you are right. And um, a lot of this has to come, it uh, comes down to um, your thought life and um, how you think about things and if you're negative or positive in your life. And particularly when playing guitar, whether you think you can or whether you think you can't is one of the biggest factors in determining your success on the guitar. And I'm living proof of that. Like every time I shut my brain off and say, you know, I'm not gonna listen to those negative thoughts and I go out there and try to practice something, it ends up turning out pretty well. Every time I don't uh, do that and I end up uh, following, taking a little negative thought and following it down that little negative rabbit hole, it gets worse and worse and worse. And this is particularly true on guitar. And I have a really good example of this. Um, probably 24 years ago, let me do some math. There, man, yeah, maybe, maybe 23 years ago, I heard the uh, Doc Watson song for the first time ever, Windy and Warm. I was watching an instructional video with my dad and I was like, that is awesome. I'll never be able to play it. <laughs> and for 23 years, I had, I've had the sheet music for forever. And I've I tried to learn it a few times and every time I learned, I'm like, this is two things came to my mind, went to my mind. Number one was, this is too hard. And the second one was, I just can't do it. I'm just not good enough. And um, well, actually three things. The third thing was, uh, this is going to require too much work. And those three things tied together with those negative thoughts fulfilled, gave me a self-fulfilling prophecy that I would not be able to do it. Well, um, this week in the past, I don't know, five or six days, I was like, you know what? Screw this. I'm going to actually learn this song. I can do it. So I've gone through every day learning through the song and those thoughts have come to fruition. I can play the song now. I don't have the whole thing learned yet, but there's a video coming on it soon. Uh, insert playing clip here. And the idea here is that you can do what you set your mind to, you know, within reason, within reason if you put in the work. The thing is with the self-fulfilling prophecy, uh, positive confessions, professions, law of attraction, whatever it is, if you think you can't do something, then you're gonna have absolutely no reason to go put in the effort to, because you think that that effort is gonna go nowhere and you're not gonna be able to do it, particularly with playing. Doesn't matter what it is, whether it's blues, jazz, finger style, whatever it is. If you think you can't do it, then what's the point in putting in the time and effort if you know it's gonna fail? But if you think to yourself, you know what, I can do this, you're at least gonna put in the effort. You will have a reason to put in the effort on the guitar and that is the biggest key to success with me because if you think you have a reason if you have a legit reason to go practice this you're going to go practice it and you're going to get better but you do have to put in the work so i just wanted to kind of share this um life paradigm or just principle and a lot of you out there already know this you're already applying it but if you catch yourself um thinking negative thoughts about your playing try to catch them this week this week i have a challenge for you try to catch them this week be really aware of it stop it where it is and think consciously you know decide to think about something else that's positive and be like no i may not be able to play it yet but i can do it if i put in the time and i will do it and put in the time and it works i'm living proof of it and you can be too let me know in the comments below what other things have helped you uh get better on the guitar or what things have been the biggest hindrances for you learning how to play the guitar the way you want to i know it's a little bit different type of video this week but i wanted to do this just because um throughout my life like this is it's really hard to do especially if you're somebody like me that's eeyore you know i my dad is the most positive person in the world he doesn't even have to think about this kind of stuff when he thinks 
hey, I want to do something. He just goes and does it. I'm like, why didn't I get those jeans, man? So I have to sit there and you know go through my melancholy state and think about it. I'm like, no, just put those negative thoughts out of your mind. Think something positive, replace them with something positive, and then go take action on it. And that's really hard for me a lot of the times. But if I can do it, I know you can do it. And just being uh, really aware of this on a daily basis, it's really tough at first. But you know, I'm. If I was at zero percent starting, I'm maybe at forty percent now. I can't wait till I get to where I'm at a hundred percent. I don't think I'll ever get anyone will ever get there. But um. I can't wait till those positive thoughts to where I'm really more disciplined about it. And a lot of people throughout my life was like, oh, you need to be more confident. And I think um, the reason why I haven't been more confident is because I, I really will latch onto a negative thought and follow it down the spiral staircase. And um, lately, it's been a lot better. And I've seen a lot of progress in my playing. And it's been especially challenging um, with, like I said, with my job situation, and I know a lot of you out there are now with this virus thing going around, have been thrown into the same type of situation where you have a lot of opportunities to think about a lot of really negative things, but I wanna encourage you, don't think about the negative things, try to identify them this week, and then go play your guitar. Pick a goal and shoot for it, you can do it.